you can grow it. Do you have some ideas for transforming your backyard garden into something really special, but you're just not quite sure how to go about it? Well, here's something that might help inspire you to get started. On today's You Can Grow It, Garden Master Jim Duthie takes us on a visit with a Boise couple who had big ideas for transforming their yard. And with some patience and hard work, the results are amazing. Relaxing in their newly finished backyard gazebo, Fred Choate and Debbie King are taking a little break from renovating their Boise home, both inside and out. And with lots of imagination, vision, and hard work, they've turned their yard into a collection of beautiful places to wander through and enjoy. The problem is once I have an idea, it's too late. I mean, it ha as soon as it's an idea, then it has to be done. For Fred, a well-known Idaho landscape artist, ideas for his backyard tend to expand into visions and obsessions. If he's on a painting out in the studio that he's really obsessed with, then he's on that. If he's out here in the yard doing something design-wise, planting things, designing things, he's on that. And you can't tear him away. Looking for a little inspiration on how you can improve your garden? Take a look at what Fred and Debbie have done with theirs. Part of their backyard has been turned into a fantasy land. You never know who or what might be watching you. There's even a fairy cottage built into the trunk of a tree. But while it looks magical, it didn't appear overnight. An old giant silver maple tree began to die and it had to be removed. I had him leave a nine foot stump and I didn't know what I was gonna do with it. I thought, you know, I, 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 I wanted something there. I thought I you know, might carve it into a Buddha or uh, you know, just something. And then one day they dropped in at a local garden center where Fred happened to notice a little fairy cottage on display. I was just immediately, get me out of here, I'm, re I'm ready to go. And that's how the fairy cottage happened. Now it's their granddaughter's favorite part of the yard. She wanted me to hollow it out so she could play inside of it. That's a, that's a, a bridge too far. Many backyard features were created using debris left over from the house renovation, including stepping stone pathways made from recycled chunks of concrete and asphalt, as well as this whimsical bus stop made from leftover materials, including an old concrete window well. Step through this side gate guarded by two oriental lions and you'll pass through a secret garden of sorts. Even the wild residents like to hang out here. In front of the house, they built a beautifully landscaped berm covered with varied assortment of plants and rock features, including scented lavender and blooming succulents, making for an attractive display from the street. But how do you begin to create something like this? Just starting, just starting. You know, I, I do a, like I'm, when I'm doing the berms and the rock work and stuff, I just start with one spot and then it kind of grows and it grows and I, the more I do, the further I can see. Recently finished projects include this pleasant oriental garden complete with an outdoor kitchen and this pagoda style gazebo which makes for a pleasant place to relax, even if it's just a brief rest between projects. Everything's in the process. To me it's, it's you know, people ask, do I ever sit down and enjoy this? Well, you know, I enjoy doing it. I'm more of a doer than a wait around and sit. I, I just, I have to be doing, and it's the process of it. And while she's happy with the results, Debbie wasn't always so sure about the process. Well, no, no, no. no. The, me the mess we lived with for several years was, I never thought we would finally come to this. Yeah, it's, uh, this is way, mo way beyond anything we thought we would do. It's just, we just keep having ideas. The, the place, there's just so much beauty here and everything we do kind of inspires something else, another idea. And with a lot of inspiration and a little perspiration, you can create the garden of your dreams too. For Idaho's News Channel 7, and you can grow it, I'm Jim Doobie. That's great. If you are not sure how to get started with your garden ideas, consult with a local landscape designer. For a small fee, they'll help you develop a plan and budget to suit your needs. Also, local garden centers can provide helpful advice as well as the plants and materials you'll need to complete your projects.